The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website. You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support. Sing hallelujah. Oh my God. Lord, I'm so, so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Finally. Finally, I got it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Finally. Finally. I need to make an important call.
Hello, Bradania. Hello, Sister Ruth. Guess what? Wow. Sister Ruth, I've got the appointment letter. It is right in my hand now. So you have the letter with you already? Oh, praise Jesus. Yes. This is great. God has done marvelous things for us. Wow. Sister Ruth, just within two weeks, I mean two weeks of accepting my proposal, see what the Lord has done. <laughs> but Daniel, it is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. Yes. <laughs> Before I ever proposed to you, I've been struggling, struggling, looking for a job. But here I am today. Here I am today, just like the biblical rule, bring a blessing to Naomi. You're a blessing to me. Yes. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. And I thank God for your life. You know what? I'm just so, so excited of what the Lord has done for me. Sister Ruth, I know God has a great thing. God has great things for us in this relationship. And I'm sure we will enjoy each other by the grace of God. Yes. God has great plans for our lives. And his plans will definitely come to pass. Yes. God is ever faithful. Yeah. Congratulations. Even me, I'm happy for you. Oh, my day was great. It was a great day. Yeah, work was fine. I'm, I'm back at home, cleaning up. Yes. All right, Lord Daniel. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we shall celebrate and continue to give him praise. Okay. Bye, brother. Bye. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. I know, I know, I know this is hard. But you just 
you have to calm down. And, and I'm listening. You know, I believe God will, he will guide us in this. I, I know. I know. Just please calm down. This is too much for me. This is too much for me. This is just a challenge. I believe when we meet, we can pray together and God will work this out. Can we meet tomorrow? Yes. At our I know usual God will please, do it, please. But please take it easy, Brother Daniel. God is on the throne. See you tomorrow. Uh, okay. Have a blessed evening. Bye. What is going on? I don't understand again. I lost my job three times within three months. And I kept hearing Daniel. We don't need your service here again. Daniel, you are not fit to work with us again. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? Ah, who will help me now? What do I need to do? Ah, I'm tired. I'm tired of everything. Ah, where will I turn to now? Who will help me? Ah, what is wrong with me? Is anything wrong with me? Ah, ah, I need help. What do I need to do? I need to fend for myself. I need to get something doing. Ah. Ah. Who do I call now? not fine. I, I, I'm not happy at all. It's a deal from one problem to the other. Eh? I'm just tired of life. I'm tired of everything. So tired of everything. Eh? A man of God. A powerful man of God. Let me know him now. You know, you know it's about my job now. Hey, please send send the contact to me. Everything will go over. Please send the contact. Send the contact to me. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, dude. I'll be expecting it. Bye.
Thank you. And the man of God. I am Daniel. Yes. You are speaking with the prophet of the Most High God. I got your contact from a friend. Joe from Madrid, Spain. What is your challenge? Man of God, uh, I've been going through a, some challenges for the past few months. It has been from one problem to the other. Yes, and that is in regard to my job. Hmm. I can see many challenges around you. Many challenges. Um, I got my first job and within two weeks I was served. Yes. And after a month I got another job. I had a paying job. But within one month again I was served. For no good reason. And I've been looking for a job and it has been so stressful and problematic. So my friend suggested that I have to call you, and that's why I'm calling you today, sir. Hmm. Your wife? No, sir, I'm not married. I'm engaged. In fact, it was exactly two weeks after she accepted my proposal that I got the job. Ever since then, it's had been from one problem to the other, and I've lost the job two times, three times now. That is it. That is the source of your problem. The lady you are engaged to is your problem. Sir, I should. How? Daniel, stay away from her. Move far away from her. That is the source of your problem. Okay, man of God. She is the stealer of glory. Oh, okay, man of God. Anyone that marries her is doomed. Oh, okay, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Bye. Is sign. your phone. Talk to me.
truth since you came into my life. He has been from one problem to another problem. <laughs> I got a job. Um, within three weeks, within three weeks, I got sad. <laughs> and barely a month later, I got a high paying job. And within a month, I lost the job. Just like your biblical namesake, Ruth. She brought calamity into the life of Malo, the son of Naomi. Just leave me alone and carry away your problem. Daniel, huh? what's, go what's going on here? Daniel! What's going on? Your biblical namesake, Ruth. She brought calamity into the life of Malo, the son of Naomi. I don't want you in my life. Just carry your problem and go away. Daddy.
luggage in the upper compartment. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Honestly, my sister, I think you should move on. I mean, get into another relationship. How long will you wait? There are many eligible brothers out there. My dear sister, move on with your life. I mean, move on. Study more. It's been so difficult these past few weeks. And it's not like I don't want to move on. But I'm receiving... Can I say, I'm receiving a signal from the Lord. What signal? What do you mean? Yeah, something like a caution. Really? Yeah, I was really... But I feel so strongly in my spirit not to take any step. So right now, I'm on my way to Barcelona. Yeah, I'm going to pick up a new job. Are you sure of this step you are taking? Yeah, I've prayed about it and I'm moving on. Doesn't matter even if... <sighs> even if Brother Daniel left me. But like I mentioned, I've received a caution. Yeah, a signal from the Lord. No, I can't just do otherwise. But no problem. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait on the Lord. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'll wait on the Lord. Okay. May God renew your strength. I should be arriving in less than three hours. And that's where I'm going to be for. I don't know how long. I might get a new number. I will let you have my number again. In due time. Yeah. I will be waiting for your new number. Sister Ruth, don't forget to call me. Thank you for your encouragement and prayers. God be with you and Johnny Mercy. Bye. Bye. Sister Ruth, how long will she wait? I pray God help her that she understand what I'm trying to tell her.
bless you. Thank you for bringing me to this land of Barcelona. Lord, only you know why I am here. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the purpose for which you, you have sent me here, Lord, will be accomplished in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the privilege to be in this land. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all you've done, for all you have arranged. Thank you for your purpose will surely, surely be accomplished in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. To you be all the glory and all the honor forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Wow. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful sight. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hello, yeah, roots on the line, yeah, Torah Hotels, oh, good day, Mr. Joe, yeah, I remember your event is in two days' time, oh, sorry, in four days' time, yes, we are getting ready to host you and your team, hmm, you need more rooms, um, just a moment. So we are talking about 15 through 18. Um, Mr. Joe, how many more rooms do you need? 6 6 rooms? Double. It's 15 through 18. I'm afraid we are fully booked. Yeah, we have only two rooms left for your dates. Mm, I I can have two more rooms to your reservations. Or oh, you know, maybe there may be some cancellations and then you may get some extra rooms. But for now, I can only offer you two more rooms, double rooms. Okay, Mr. Joe, is there any other thing I can help you with? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll keep you informed if there's any changes. All right. Okay, have a good day. Bye. I'm good mom and you I'm doing well I just want to let you know that I'm at your backyard my backyard mom seriously I just want to let you know that I just arrived Barcelona a few hours ago arrived in Barcelona mom are you kidding me I just checked into the hotel a few hours ago I've already freshened up and I thought it was to inform my darling daughter that I'm here in Barcelona. 
Are you for real? I mean, are you in Barcelona? <laughs> Does it look like I'm lying? I'm a child of God, I don't lie. And you know what the Bible says? That all liars will find themselves in the lake of fire that born with sulfur. And you know, I don't want to be there. Wait, mom. But I spoke to you two days ago. Okay, anyway. Where are you in Barcelona? Because I am in Barcelona as well. Seriously? My route is in Barcelona? Hmm. It seems that we are surprising each other today. Oh, mom. You are the master in the art of surprises. <laughs> so really, you now live here? Yes, mom. I now live and I work in Barcelona. Oh my God! The Lord has really made this journey so beautiful for me. You know what? I'm in New City Hotel. In um... Huh? Calle Miranda? Huh? Mommy? You are in Calle Miranda? Don't worry, I know where the hotel is. I will see you as soon as I close from work. Oh great! I'll be waiting for you. Bye for now. All right, mom. Take care of yourself. Bye. Mom. Barcelona? Calle Miranda? What? I spoke to her two days ago. so difficult in this last five months. How will I be able to tell you my plans? I'm so sorry, Mom. But then, what are you doing in Spain? And um, why are you lodging here? You didn't even call me. I mean, it's somehow. I know. The thing is that um, I'm representing my company. We are having a, an international conference in Barcelona. And I didn't even know I was coming. I just decided two days ago to come. And uh, you know I have this European passport and, and it's all expense paid trip. At the same time, uh, because of my position in the company. So, they put me on the list. Here I am. Wow. So happy to see you then. So how long are you staying? Um, I'm planning to stay. The conference is about five days. We'll take about five days. But, I choose to spend two extra days with my favorite dog. I hope that is fine with you. Of course, mom. <laughs> it's fine with me. Then you check out of here and then you come to my apartment with of me. Of course, yes, 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 yes. I'll be I'll be looking forward to that. So bond with my daughter. I need to bond with you. It's been a long time. I know, mom. I know. Wow. So are you okay? I really need to talk to you. I I, I just felt that we should talk and catch up. Are you really okay? 
Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you look good. Much better than um, four years ago. But I'm not talking about that. I'm really talking about your spiritual life. How are you A spiritual life. Ever since I got to Barcelona six months ago, I've been more busier than before. I hardly have time for church, fellowship, even reading the Bible. But then, I know that my daughter loves to see God's face about taking any decision. Hi, Holy Spirit. Please help me. Something is missing beneath her. Uh, I'm fine. I'm good. There is something. There is something. And the prompting of the Holy Spirit to make me attend this conference. Is it a disguise for me to find out why my root has been withdrawn? Why she stopped calling frequently? And she invades deep conversations. These are things she normally discussed with me. She's, she, she has been so open, you know, di discussing things with me in the past, but recently she stopped. What is going on? Hmm. I think she has once behaved like this before. Holy Spirit, please help me. Help me to understand what is going on in my daughter's life. I know my mom. She would dig into me until she knows all that has happened. But I, I, I don't want to bother her with all these issues. She has more things to handle. And I'm not a holy child. You should not be bothered about all this. Lord. <laughs> 
I'm so bothered about my daughter. I'm bothered, Lord. Help me to see. Show me what I can do to help her, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Father, don't let my coming to Barcelona be in vain, Lord. You brought me here for a purpose, Lord. Help me to help my daughter. Show me what I need to do to help her, Lord. Please, Lord. Something is wrong and only you can fix this, Lord. <sighs> See you soon. Bye. Tonight is the night of answer. No more delay. Not anymore. Oh, thank you, Lord. What a day. Jesus. <clears throat> Father, I thank you, Lord, and I bless your name, Lord. Thank you for this awesome opportunity to be in this conference. Thank you for what you've done already. Thank you for what you are doing. And thank you for what you're about to do. Thank you for the privilege to be in this conference. I bless your name, Lord. Thank you for all that you have been doing to make sure that I'm comfortable. May your name be glorified, Lord. In Jesus' name. Abba, thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hello, my dear. Ruth, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, I was conference today. I'm fine. I just came back from the last section of the conference. Oh, you're just getting back to the room. All right. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I was not able to stop by today. And neither will I come this evening. Mm. Good. You, you see, um, I just want to let you know that I have this urgency in my spirit. It's like a caution. It's like um, a yellow signal. If there is um, any decision you want to make, please hold on, hold on. And hold on to it. Don't just make any rash decision. Don't just take any decision right now. Just hold on. I have, uh, there is this yellow signal that I'm having. This caution. Uh, yes, and it, there is this, yes, and a sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. Yes, if it's possible, just come around tomorrow so we can talk. We really need to talk. Please, my dear, it's very, very urgent. And please don't make any, don't take any decision, don't do anything until we meet and talk and pray about this thing. Really? Okay, you know. Well, if we don't meet tomorrow, I think you're going to be done with your conference in two days' time. Then I can always bring you over to my apartment. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever time that suits you, I will make time. All right. See you then. Bye-bye, my dear. And have a pleasant night. Make sure you eat before you go to bed. <laughs> you know you are not so fond of food. Okay, dear. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye. What's this? Don't make a decision. Don't make a decision. What? God. Oh, what 
what kind of a game are you playing with my life? Why is it that every time I want to go forward on this issue, something will always come up to stop me? God, what are you doing with my life, Lord? What game are you playing? With my life. Do you really have plans for me? I need to move on. I need to just move on. Now that I've made up my mind to give Benjamin an answer today. Now, another caution is coming. Why do I get all these signals? When I'm supposed to make a move. I'm, I'm ready. I've already packed my things. Oh, okay. I'll meet you downstairs. Okay. At the reception. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm coming right away. Okay. See you in a bit. All right. Bye. for us to meet Lord we thank you thank you Lord. thank you for the months that have gone by thank you for orchestrating this this plan Lord thank the talk, you. this meeting Lord we thank you Lord in the name of Jesus Amen. father thank you for ha, the Bible says your plan for us of good and not of evil to give yes. us a hope and a future yes. thank you because your plan for us at this time was good yes. and has always been good Thank yes. you, Father. We appreciate you in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. But I pray the purpose for which you have made it possible for us to meet, Lord, will be accomplished in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let this meeting bring honor to your name, bring glory to your name, and Amen. blessing to your daughter. Amen. Father, I'm thankful that I met my daughter in good health. 
Father, thank you for how far you have led her, how far you have prospered her, how far you have helped her, how far you have protected her. There is a meaning for this meeting. Therefore, Lord, we thank you, we bless your name. Amen. And say, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. We cover this house with the blood of Jesus Christ. Right? And everything your, lay, your daughter lay her hands on shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. In thank Jesus' you. name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Wow, I'm so excited. I'm so, super, super excited. As you can see, here is bigger than the whole party yeah. in Madrid. That was the last time you visited. That was the last time I visited. And this About place four is years better. Ago. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I was in Madrid four years ago, yeah. Yeah. So, how was your program? It was fantastic, actually. It was beautiful. We've finished all that. But the most important part is me meeting you. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> it's been meeting. I didn't mean, know I was going to see you in Barcelona. Ah! I'm so excited about that. I didn't know. Well, actually, I moved like I told you. I mean, it's just one of those things. <laughs> uh, yes, you have been avoiding deep conversation. But, uh, Mommy, mm. let me get you something to drink. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. This is really Hello, Mom. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you slept well. I did, and what about you? I slept well too. I can see you're dressing up. Are you going somewhere? Yes. I want to go to the supermarket to get some things for you oh, so that I can prepare a delicious lunch for you. At least this one you are staying with me for two days. I'm so blessed to have you in Spain. That is very thoughtful of you, my dear. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. But I just want us to have a little talk before you go. Please. Please, my dear. I'm just curious to know. Yes, ma'am. Why did you relocate from Madrid to Barcelona? And why didn't you inform me about it? Mom, I told you a few days ago that I got a better offer in Barcelona. Yes, I know you told me that a few days ago. But why didn't you inform me about it? <sighs> you hardly call. And when I call, you are you are so brief. You you you, you just you 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 just end the conversation and give your work as an excuse. What is going on? What is happening, my daughter? Nothing more sincerely more. Work has been so hectic since I got to Barcelona. It's more busier here. And you know, considering the sector I'm working in, it's more busier here. We have a lot of things to do here than in Madrid. Hmm. I see. But my daughter, there is, there is something wrong. What are you running away? What are you hiding? What are you running away from? What happened in Madrid? I know you, my dear. I carried you in my womb. I watched you grow. I know when something is wrong somewhere. Please talk to me. When you move, I know you are moving away from something or from someone. I remember that this thing, this kind of a thing, happened four years back. What happened, Ruth? You know you can talk to me. Please talk to me. Hmm. 
I know you. I know you will keep digging into me. And I know you, my daughter, that you can be so secretive and withdrawn and trying not to worry me about certain things. But you have forgotten that I have given all my worries to Jesus over you and your siblings. And he has been helping me to raise you. Tell me, what happened? What are you running away from? Tell me, please. Honey, no. I just needed a change of environment, you know. I can't be a two person memorable point as it tear up. Steer up what, my dear? Ruth, my dear, let it out. Talk to me. Talk to your mother. Let it out. What's going on? Pick your phone. Talk to me. Again and you had to move again just like you did four years ago when you broke up with Sam in South Africa and you had to move to Spain. Ruth, my dear, I'm so sorry about what happened to you. I'm really so sorry. And whatever happened between you and Daniel and, uh, and his swift reaction to all these things is just a device of the enemy. I'm really, really sorry about what happened to you. I'm really sorry. Whatever happened between you and Daniel, and his swift accusation is just a device of the enemy. Don't put your heart into it. It's just a device of the enemy. Hmm? Oh, It's not a signal that something is wrong with me. Is it that there is a cause upon me? Why are men leaving me just like that? Look here, mom. I'm not getting any younger. I know you are not pressurizing me for marriage. But I know I'm not getting any younger. I need to have settled down by now. I know, my dear. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't believe the lie of the enemy. Nothing is wrong with you. Believe me when I say so. Nothing. Verse 31 says that when God made all things, after he has made all things, he said it was good. This means you are God made you outstanding. You are a blessing. You don't, you don't, anybody that comes in contact with you is blessed. You don't allow the enemy to tell you otherwise. That's not what God said concerning you. You are a blessed woman. Don't let the enemy tell you otherwise. But, 
Tana didn't say all this. <laughs> he was talking about my name. And that I brought problem into his life. Rude, dear. Anyone that comes in contact with you, hmm, comes in contact with blessing. You don't allow the enemy to tell you otherwise. You see, my dear. So oftentimes people come into conclusion about issues of life. Yeah? And they forgot what the Bible says in George chapter 16, verse 33. He said challenges of life will come, but we will overcome. He has, he has overcome the world for us. It is, it is not every challenge of life that is, uh, is about demon and, or, and other things people talk about. No. Some things sometimes happen to believers. Challenges of life is not just a, it's, it's not orchestrated by demons and all that. Sometimes God allows things to happen. And like you're also saying about being under a curse. <laughs> My dear, you are not under a curse. You are never under a curse and you'll never be under any curse. <sighs> Have you lost your confidence in God and his word? I don't know, mom, you know. After all that happened between Daniel and I, can you imagine I fasted and prayed and regarding his proposal, and the Lord spoke to me, even told me about our future. And then everything still happened the way it happened, just under a few months. And when that, whatever happened between you and Daniel happened, did you go back to the Lord? Yes, I did, Mom. And what did the Lord say? The Lord reminded me of something that I noticed on the day that Daniel spoke all those words to me. Okay. What and is that? I was walking back home that day. Mm -hmm. Then I go to the streets. It was a busy street. And then there was the pedestrians and uh, light yeah. as the traffic lights you know um, signifying either to the pedestrian or the driver to move or to stop now mm -hmm. first there was a green light on this green light everyone moved mm. okay and then followed by a yellow signal and then a red signal okay for days, I couldn't understand what that means. Mm. Uh, as you know, my heart ached. I broke down in tears and cried and uh, I tried. I prayed. Mm. I fasted, hoping that Daniel would come back to me. Because I was thinking with all I could get was just like caution, wait, you know. But I even stood my ground when I was asked to move on. But then it didn't come back to me. So my heart was on that yellow signal for many weeks. Hmm. A yellow signal. With caution. Yes, ma'am. And I got to understand that that is a caution sign. At least as a pedestrian or as a driver. Mm. So I fasted and prayed, hoping that God will bring it back since the Lord has cautioned me not to go ahead. But then it didn't come back. Mm. Mom, it's been more than eight months, almost going to ten months now. Mm. And then it didn't come back to me. Mm. So I needed to proceed. But my heart was on this yellow signal for some weeks. A yellow signal. Fla light flashing. Wants you to proceed with caution. Yes, ma'am. Slow down. Be at last before entering intercession. Hmm. My daughter, God was actually speaking to you. Really? Yes. And you know, Mom, I try to go into other relationship, you know, like date some men and like that. But it didn't work out. And the last 
uh, or the most recent, let me say, was there was this guy I met at work, wanted, you know, to date me. I met him in the line of duty and he's been asking me out for weeks. So I was like, there is no harm in trying, you know. I'm not a guy, baby. And I made up a mind that three days ago, I'm going to give him a yes answer. <laughs> Mom, I was going to go ahead. Don't even care about praying or anything. But then when I called you, ask after you, you told me not to make, not to take a decision. He said, Mom, I've already taken a decision. But I don't know, I found myself, you know, taking your counsel and not making a move. Asking you out. Dating. My dear, that is not the language I know you with. <laughs> no. Do you actually talk to God regularly? Hmm? By the way, which church do you attend? Which, where do you worship? Mm. Sincerely, I'm here to join the church in Barcelona here. Seriously? S S mm. Really? Oh yes, my goodness. How did you just forget that the Bible said that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God? See, the Lord wants you to rise from your broken state and proceed with caution not to jump to another relationship or end up with somebody else because it can be dangerous it can be very dangerous for you you know what often time in my life of duty you know i'm a a christian marriage counselor in south africa I have met men and women who, after a breakup, rushed into another available relationship just to score a point. And they ended up in serious trouble. But mom, I have to move on. I'm not getting any yoga. I know. I know you have to move on. But remember that the Lord wants you to proceed with caution. You know what? You don't even know what God has saved you from. You know, from taking such decisions. It could have landed you into trouble. Because your heart is not with him. Your heart is not with him. God really saved you and I thank God for that. You would have gotten into a more serious trouble. Since you came into my life, it's a bit from one problem to another problem. I got a job, and within three weeks, I got sacked. What a blessing. You are a blessing. Anybody that comes in contact with you is blessed. Don't believe the lie of the enemy. The Bible says that he that finds the wife and the good thing and obtain a favor from the Lord. Any man that finds you have found favor. Just like your biblical namesake, Ruth, she brought calamity into the life of Malo, the son of Naomi. I don't want you in my life. Just carry your problem and go away. That is about demon and other things. People 
often conclude that whatever happens to people is about demon, is about this, is about that. It's not. It's not. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry for keeping worry. you waiting. No, 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 don't worry. I didn't want to bother you. <laughs> wow, so mommy is going back home <laughs> yes, so. to South Africa. <laughs> yes, and I thank God that I'm able to meet you. And we had this wonderful and amazing, uh, amazing bonding. <laughs> thank you so much for having me and mommy. all the things you did to make me comfortable. You know, I appreciate God um, for your life. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful to God and I think this is a great signal for me that God really loves me. Yes. Because after you spoke to me yesterday, I laid on the bed and I had a tea time of reflections. Mm. I remember so many things and I realized that uh, I really need to go back to God. Mm. And mom, guess what? Yesterday oh. night, after a very long time, had a long time of prayer and seeking the face. Praise of God. How oh, far I think. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I know I came to Barcelona without consulting God. But I'm grateful to God for his mercy. Amen. That in spite of my just ignoring the you know the yellow signal, he brought me here and then he arranged you to be here. Yes. He arranged you to be here. Yes. And my give him more glory. Can I say this? I'm so sorry. Keeping you in the dark about everything. It's okay. You know, the, you know, this is my nature. It's I just okay. don't want to bother you. I know, stops. I know, I know my daughter. I know who you are you are protecting me. It's okay. I understand. God bless you. Amen. 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 I know I've prayed for you before. Can we pray for you? Ah, mommy and <laughs> prayers. Okay. Father, thank you. Thank you for bringing me to Barcelona and meeting my daughter. Thank and at the same time, you sorted out the things that you needed to sort out. Thank, thank you. Lord. To you be all the glory forever. Thank, thank, you thank you for Jesus. bringing her back to you. Thank, thank, you, thank you because she went out of the way, Lord, to make sure that this meeting happened thank and for you. this to take place in her life. Father, thank I you. give you all the glory. Ali. You are the master planner. You, yes. are the, you plan this whole thing. Yes, Lord. I, it has, you have fulfilled your purpose for sending me to Barcelona. Thank you. To you be all the glory forevermore. Amen. Father, as I'm leaving, I leave her into your hands. Amen. I say, Father, continue what you've started. Amen. And perfect what you have started in her life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, perfect everything that concerns her and her, her marital life in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the lines fall in pleasant places for her. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, Father, I give you all the glory. Amen. I give you all the honor. Amen. Continue to lift her up. Amen. Continue to protect her. Amen. Continue to promote her Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Continue to give her the good help you have always been giving her. Amen. And at the right time, at the right time, she will get married in you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for everything. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. Mom, I think the driver, the taxi held up for his head. Uh -huh. So, so we to let's...
able to secure another job for the past 10 months. What is happening? Everything just has chance changed. I've tried everything possible, but nothing is forthcoming. Hello? Hello, man of God. I am Daniel. Ah. Daniel in the lion's den. No, not the one in the lion's den. I'm Daniel from Madrid, Spain. How may I help you? Yes. Man of God, everything is not fine with me. I've not been able to secure a new job since for the past 10 months. Man of God, I followed every instruction you gave me then. And I broke up the relationship with Ruth. And for the past 10 months now, I've not been able to secure another job. Everything is just a standstill. <laughs> You need to look for Ruth again in order for you to regain your glory. You told me to break up the relationship with her and I did it. And you're not telling me to go back and look for her again. <sighs> Daniel, the spirit has changed his mind again. Man of God, why are you reversing this again? You told me to break up the relationship with her, and I did it. And you're not telling me to go back and look for her again. <sighs> go. Go and find her. Go now. Man of God, I don't know where she is now. You told me to break up, and I've done it. I don't know where she is now. <sighs> okay. Okay. I should go and look for her. Okay, man of God. O okay, bye. Huh? What is going to happen? Where, should I, where will I find Ruth now? I broke up the relationship with, in the last 10 months and I don't know where she is now. Huh? Where will I find her? Where will I start the journey from? Huh? She's not even responding to all my emails. Tried her phone number. She's not. It's not going. <sighs> All the emails I've sent to her, she did not respond. Where will I find Sister Ruth now? I've tried calling her several times, but her line is not connecting. <sighs> Sister Ruth, where are you now? I've tried every possible means to get her. Sister Deborah, do I still have a phone contact, sister? Yes, thank you, Jesus.
Hello? Good day. Who are you, please? Hello, Sister Deborah. It is me, Daniel. Which brother, Daniel? Daniel Ruth. Brother Daniel or Sister Ruth? Yes. Uh, uh, please, uh, uh, Sister Deborah, I, I, I've been trying to reach Sister Ruth. Do, do you know where she is now? Sister Deborah, please, I've been looking for her. I've sent several emails to her. She has not responded to me. And I've tried her phone number. But she, it's not going. I've not heard from her for a long time. Ah, please, Sister Deborah, please. I, 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 I need to get her now. I need to reach her. Please, do you have any of her contact? I'm telling you the truth, Brother Daniel. I can't help you. You mean you don't have her contact? Please, her phone number, please, phone number. I mean, you're her friend now. The last time I, I spoke with her. Sister Deborah, please, are you sure? Please. Don't worry, Brother Daniel. I can't help you. I'm sorry. You don't know where she is now. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't know her whereabouts. Okay. Please. Any. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bye. All right, bye. Huh. Brother Danny. Ah, my God. Everything is turning against me. Ah. Sister Deborah, very close friend of her. Brother Danny, how did he even get my number? Who gave him my number? Hello, Sister Ruth. <laughs> Hello, Sister Ruth. How's your conference going? Yeah, the conference is going on powerfully. All the speakers have been ministering well to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, we are presently on break. Yeah, tea break. And I'm in the restaurant, you know, taking tea and uh, and some sweet bread with my friend, Sister Deborah. My very, very good friend. Wow! <laughs> Enjoyment galore! <laughs> you can say that again. Exchange my greetings with Sister Deborah. You can actually greet her now. It is a good way for you to know each other. Okay, hold on. He wants to say hello to you. Good day, Brother Daniel. Hello, Sister Deborah. Good to hear from you. It sounds great to hear from the much talked about Sister Deborah. Hello? 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 I can't hear anything. Oh. Hello? Okay, you know what? You give me your phone. Okay. Let me use it too. Call it. Hello. Uh, hello, brother Neil. Yeah, yeah, it's me, it's Ruth. I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, my phone battery ran flat eh? and I'm not with the charger here. You know, we will be getting back to the hotel later in the day. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm using Sister Deborah's um, phone to call you. So you can uh, still save her number. 
Yeah, because I won't get back to the hotel room until late in the night. So maybe if you really want to reach me. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. So, but Adani saved my number since. Why is he looking for Sister Ruth now? Come to take of it. Sister Ruth, she said she will call me with her new life. And she didn't call me over seven months now. She didn't call. What's happening? God, I hope she's okay. I hope everything is okay with her. God, please help her. I even forgot to check on her, to even look for her to get an over. Oh my God, please, help her. Help her, Lord. I hope everything is well with her. Hmm. Oh, brother Danny, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, Daddy just uh, stepped out this morning. He received an emergency call that he, he needed to attend to. So it's just uh, past six now, and we are trusting God anymore from now, he should be home. But nevertheless, he told me everything. Brother Daniel. Yes, ma'am. Brother Daniel. Yes, In this matter, you didn't act wisely at all. You didn't act wisely at all. Ha! Brother Daniel. Yes. Why will you be building your life round a prophet? Brother Nye, where is God? Where did you leave God? At what, what point? Have you read the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14? Do you have a Bible there? Yes, ma'am. Please open and read for us. Please. I found it. Okay, please read for us. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slate of men, and calming craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. You see that you've been tossed to and fro. Did the prophet, did you pray before proposing, or the prophet also told you that she is your wife? I, I prayed. Ah! And what did the Lord say? He confirmed her. Ah! You got confirmation and you allow the prophet to chase her away. Now he, he is the one telling you to bring her. But Daniel, the Bible says we are royal priesthood. You are a priest of yourself. You are a priest of your house. We, your pastors, we have always taught you to have a personal relationship with the Lord. Huh. What we come to do is to confirm what the Lord is saying or has said to you. Ah, everything we, we as your pastor, prophet has to tell you has to be in line with what God has already told you or what God is saying in his word. Brother Daniel, you never acted wisely. Ha! Ah, okay. When last did you hear from this very woman? I've not heard from her. No contact? Oh, yes. I, I contacted one of her friends some days ago. But she told me she didn't have a contact. I pray for you. May you not miss the will of God for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ah, you see now, this prophet has deceived you. And that's how they go about deceiving people. Hey, Brother Daniel, this is not good at all. Who knows if that woman has moved on with her life? Let me encourage you, please. Go back to where you have left God. A personal retreat is highly recommended at this point of your life. Seek the face of God for direction, instructions on what to do now. Because this matter is only God that can put, that can just step in and make it work. That's just the truth I will tell you. But nevertheless, I want to promise you, myself and Daddy will be praying for you. Thank you, man. I, I trust God you have learned your lesson now. And it's a very hard one. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. What's the name of that sister again? Ruth. Sister Ruth. Yes. Let us pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you even for Sister Ruth at this point of her life. We just bless you, O Lord. Father, we pray you touch her heart. You heal her wherever she is right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, O oh God, Father, that you will help him. At this point of his life, Lord, we invite you into this matter in the name of Jesus as we join hands together, as we trust you. Father, we pray, O oh God, at the end of this matter, O oh God, it will end in joy and laughter Amen. and the devil will be put to shame. Amen. In Jesus' or something we pray. Amen. 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 Take something, my brother. Thank you. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because of challenges of life and getting a stable job, I began to run helter skelter until I met that strange prophet. Ah. I have direct access to you, but this I met this strange prophet made me to get confused more and more. Ha! Ah. He made me to lose that valuable relationship. Ha! Ah. Instead of getting more clarity, I began to get confused more and more. Ha, ah, Lord, have mercy upon me. Thank you for this yellow signal. Thank you for giving me this caution. Ha, ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I, I ask you for your mercy. Two things I'm asking from you, Lord. Two things. Lord, number one, I need your mercy. I, I need restoration. I, I want to come back to you fully, Lord. Receive me, Lord. Have mercy upon me. John chapter 16. John 16, verse 33. John 16, verse 33. The Bible says, This thing I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Because of trials, because of tribulation, I went away from you, Lord. Ah, Lord, restore your peace into my life. Restore your peace. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Ha, ah, Lord. Number two, Sister Ruth. Hello, my sister. Long time. How are you doing? I'm very sorry for not keeping to my word when I arrived in Barcelona several months back and I settled in. Well, it's a long story and I will definitely tell you all about it. I'm on my way to Madrid now and uh, I am heading straight to your apartment. I'll be spending a few days with you if that is okay with you. See you soon. Wow! Thank you, Jesus. Sister Ruth is coming to Madrid. And that too, to this apartment. Wow! Jesus, thank you. Hmm. Lord, is this the sign? Is this what we are putting my attention to in the scripture yesterday?
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Proverbs 23, 18 says, yes. For surely there is an end, yes. and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Yes. We are going to pray, and the expectation of God for our future will not be cut off. In the name of Jesus. Lord, God, Lord, 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 Lord,
a sure foundation. In the believer shall not make it. You know what caught my attention? He said, I'm placing in Jerusalem, Jerusalem, our base, our home, a tried tested stone. Talking about our future. He says it's a precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. And what does the Bible say about women? He said, a, a wise woman do what? Build, build her home. Hmm. So God is saying something to us. Hmm. <sighs> Sister Ruth, hmm. I believe this is God sending answers to our prayers, hmm. consigning our relationship and what is ahead of us. Huh? Hmm. What is ahead? Hmm. What's ahead? There is something ahead that requires us to stand, to stand firm in Him. Look at it. Just few months back, I started a relationship with Brother Emmanuel. Just last month, you started your own with Brother Daniel. After we have received confirmation and direction from God. Ah, yes. Hmm. You are very, very, very right. Huh? Hmm. A sure foundation. Hmm. He who believe will not be in haste. Hmm. Will not be shaken. Hmm. Will not panic. Hmm. Huh? Will it goes? Will not be shaken. Huh? Will not be shaken. Oh, Jesus. Help us. But why did I forget the word of the Lord so soon? And I lost confidence in God. Really, Sister Ruth? Don't worry. I'll tell you everything. Everything. Hmm. Hmm. It's good to be here again. So, wow, my sister. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for restoring your daughter back to yourself. Thank you. Hmm. Several months ago, yeah. when you were leaving for Barcelona, mm -hmm. I told you to move on. You know, later, the Lord cautioned me and he told me that sometimes things do not appear the way they seem. But caution is needed for us not to draw conclusions mm. based on our feelings. Mm. 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 I tried severally to reach you. I couldn't. I it didn't occur to me initially to use email. But when I did, you never responded. I'm so sorry. You know what? When I was leaving Barcelona several months ago, I was actually running away. Hmm. You know, like I used to do when something happens and I want to leave it behind. I leave that location. Really? Hmm. So what I did was just like, I just cut off from everybody. That's hmm. my email. I've not even checked it in months because you know that's not what that's not the one I use for work. And I told you that day that I'm going to change my number. I did. Hmm. So I was far away from God, like I told you before. I'm cut off from every other person. But God in his mercy hmm. brought my mother from South Africa to Barcelona. Thank you, Jesus. She did not even know that I was in Barcelona. Hmm. But, you know, when I told her, I changed my number and my communication with her has been very, very, you know, evasive. Trust my mother. She's a highly spiritual woman. Hmm. She decided that something was wrong. And then, at the prompting of the law, she decided to come for the conference. Hmm. She didn't even wow. call me or inform me. She only called me when she landed in Barcelona. Not knowing that I was just two streets away from her. Hmm. So the Lord used her to speak to my heart and to tell me to learn how to face situations. Hmm. Huh? When something happens, you leave a place, you move. Another thing happens, you leave a place, you move. Hmm. Then you keep on moving. In fact, in Barcelona, I didn't go to church, I didn't go anywhere. But right there, after my mother left, I went for a three days retreat. In fact, it was as I was running on the retreat, I felt so strongly in my spirit to contact you. Really? Yes. Hmm. And now, stepping into this apartment, the memories of our time of prayers 
and devotion and the words that the Lord, you know, gave us back then. Mm -hmm. It's making sense to me now. Mm -hmm. And now, I think I know why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we are so grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lest I forget my sister. Mm -hmm. Somebody contacted me looking for you desperately. Unfortunately, I had no information to give to the caller. Really? I know he's the person. <laughs> Who could I be? <laughs> Brother Daniel. Brother Daniel. I, I was confused. I know I've offended you. But I, I've come back. I've been looking for you. I've been searching for you. But I thank God that I could see you today. I'm sorry. Sister Ruth, I'm really sorry. I know I've offended you. I'm really sorry for what I have done. I'm sorry. I know I've hurt you. I know I've accused you wrongly. I've put I've blamed you wrongly. I know I've offended you. I've hurt you. And I'm even surprised to see you here in Barcelona. I mean, but I know I've. Just forgive me. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. You are forgiven. Hmm? I've already forgiven you before now. Thank you. Thank you. The second thing I want to talk about, and it's the main reason why I've been looking for you, ah, it's about, it's about uh, both of us. Us. Yeah. Lord, I tremble at your word. I know you kept on cautioning me not to go ahead into another relationship. But I was I was doubtful that. How will this be? And to think 
that I will meet Daniel in Barcelona is something I can't fathom. What's he doing here? And he said about horse. Lord, I know you are clear. I still remember the way I wrote it down about your intentions for both of us. Right from the first time that Daniel asked for my hand in marriage. Sure. Psalm 119, verse 89. That was the scripture. Yes, that the Lord gave me. Psalm 89. Psalm 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy word is settled in heaven. It's done. It's settled. You. You kept me tied down for him. You said we need to go through those situations to help us to build a solid foundation because of the plan you have for us ahead. Lord Jesus, guide me the more, Lord. If there is still anything you need to do on both of us, Lord, do it, Lord. You have helped me to wait till now, and I'm not going to rush again. Lord, just help me. Help me, Lord. So good. I still believe in us. I still maintain that you are the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Interesting. Tanya, why should I believe you? After all you said to me, you said. Please. Don't go back to those words again. I take responsibility for those hurtful words. Scared up by that same prophet. I'm so sorry, Lord. Like I explained to you two days ago, I regretted my actions and my words. I have self repented and rebuked by the Lord. And I will never take that part again. Really? Seriously, Daniel? You know, how do you want me to believe that, Daniel? You know, I've been thinking that maybe this is just a one art, or this will be your usual style if I get married to you. No, 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 no. This will never be my style. I won't run off to any strange prophet when there are challenges and trouble. Neither will I blame anyone for any challenge in my life. No try to escape God's process of making me be strong in me. Father, no, I will stand with you. Really? Yes. 
while I was praying and fasting, I rededicated my life to Jesus. The Lord made me to understand that what I passed through, though difficult, that is part of his plan for me. In order to bring to suffer that part of me that needs to be at peace. Hmm. No wonder. No wonder. You know, the Lord kept cautioning me not to go the other way. I mean, not to say yes to other men. Even though men were coming my way. And he kept on cautioning me to, to wait and wait and wait. Not to say yes. He used different ways to stop me. Then a few weeks ago, when I was on a personal retreat and seeking the face of the Lord concerning this matter as well, the Lord told me that he hasn't changed his mind on what he said about you earlier. Wait. I'm so sorry for accusing you and leaving you. <laughs> Just like the biblical road, you have restored my reputation by following God's living and waiting for me. Only God could have directed my trip to Barcelona. The job interview. After praying for God, that the job will Oh, how? That was two days ago. And you said you were on your way to take a train at the train station to return to Madrid. Yes. Yeah. Is this a yes? Let's start afresh and God's will with the social. Amen. What? Happy selection. Really? Yes. Is it for the job interview you came for? Yes. Two days ago? Yes. Here in Barcelona? Yes. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Congratulations, Daniel. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I've seen the glory. Root. The breakthrough. The breakthrough. The success. Daniel. Thank you, Jesus. God has brought back the glory. Oh. And this one shall be a permanent one. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, congratulations. Do you still love me? Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I love you with all my Thank you, Jesus. The victory is ours. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ah. Amen. Ah. Amen. Ah. Amen. I love you. Daniel. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah. I love you too. Hello, Mom. Hello, Ruth. How are you? How are you doing? 
How is everything with you? I'm good. And you? I'm doing great. I'm just coming back from an outing. And uh, I just saw you. Your call. Hello, Mom. I've got some news for you. I'm all ears there. Tell me, what's going on? Well, it's about Daniel. Daniel? Yes, Mom. What about him? Well, we met again and the Lord has uh, walked on both of us and um, we are back together. Back together? Hallelujah! <laughs> I knew it was not over. Ah! I kept praying for a marital life and each time God was directing me back to him. And I didn't know how hey, I didn't know how God was going to work it out. Hey, this God is amazing. Really? Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. <laughs> so mom, we are thinking of taking it further. Yes, yes, yes. That is that is awesome. That is a good step. That is good. Have you guys started counseling? Have you told your pastor? Mom, parental consent is very necessary to go forward you know it's an important step we have to take so that's why i'm calling you so that we can arrange a family introduction and so that both families can meet together in nigeria since his parents are there oh that is good that is good in that case i will call your dad's people and inform them and i also travel to nigeria myself so we can start everything all the process the wedding and the traditional word and everything together. Is that okay with you? Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for your prayers and your encouragement. Thank you. You have just made my day. You have just made my... This God is a prayer answering God. What a mighty God we serve. Ah! So God did this at last. My dear, <laughs> I'll call you later, okay? Take care of yourself and bye for now. My goodness, what? Is this a dream? I need to pinch myself. Is this a dream or what? Hey, hey, Father, I thank you. So I had this God, you are so amazing. You are so great. How did you do this? Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory. You, you have finally settled Ruth. Ha! For what the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. For what our Lord is doing, I will sing hallelujah. For what our Lord we do, I will sing hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. All to the Lord. Hey, thank you, my father. I surrender to your will. I surrender to your way, Lord. I surrender to your thoughts for me, so leave me alone. Hello, Pastor. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, sir. And how are you doing, sir? Oh. Thank you so much for checking up on me, sir. Yes, sir. Everything went well. The tradition went well. Everything went well. I'll be traveling to Spain very soon for the traditional and the wedding. Yes, the two families, we decided that everything will be done in Spain. And uh, Daniel's people, that's Ruth's uh, fiancé's people, they'll be joining us. They have a representative that will come in uh, Spain and represent the family. So everything will be done in Spain, sir. Yes, sir. When I come back, sir, I would love to do a Thanksgiving service. Yes, please, sir. I really want to thank God for what God did because this is, it was marvelous. It was, yeah, God has been faithful to us. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you. All right, sir. Bye for now. Bye. Ah, my pastor, so caring. God bless you, sir. Hmm. It's been here I come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. I know all things will work out well for Ruth and Daniel. 
I know. Thank you for the inter introduction. And I know this traditional wedding and the wedding will be a success too. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you too. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Come on, let's God go. Bless you, yeah. yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Yes. So yes. let's go this way, darling. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, ma. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Congratulations, ma. Where's the bride and the group? Oh, they, they are, are coming. They are just. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Where was that? Yes. Oh. There is none like you. You're glorious in holiness. You're fearful in praises. You're always doing wonders. Thank you, mighty God. Listen to the voice of the Lord. 